Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. All right, so here it is, Cinema 40 S24. I've been playing around with it and really enjoying the new updates. One thing that they've overhauled in this brand new version is this icon right here, which is called the Asset Browser. And this is basically a upgrade or a replacement of the old Content Browser. So if you click on this, we have a really nice and clean list here of all of the objects available to you. And you used to have to install these with the download, but now these are actually pinging the Cinema 4D server. So these are all offline right now, which is really, really nice because you can save a bunch of hard drive space and just download the ones you want. So you can see that there's a little download icon with a cloud here. So you can just search through any of these objects here and pick one to download. And another cool thing is that if we go to say electronics, if we look down here, we actually have some Pixel Lab uh, models included here. So this trust video board is one, this security camera is one. So if we click on the security camera, you can see that we have a little notation here. It says modeled by Remco and you can see that it's from the Pixel Lab. So we donated quite a few models to this uh, release of Cinema 4D, which is very cool. So if you've ever used our products, you know that we have been using .lib4ds, which historically have gone in the content browser, which has been replaced by this new asset browser. The good news is that Cinema 4D has the content browser as a legacy now, and you can still access it. So if we go to Window, Content Browser, and open that up, you can see that we still have access to this, and this is where we used to install all of our Lib4D products. So I'm gonna show you how to convert them to the new uh, asset browser. So the first thing we have to do is take the .lib4ds and install them. And it's really easy to do that. Just go to Edit Preferences, and then click on this Open Preferences folder, and it's gonna show you exactly where to install. Just go to Library, and then Browser. And you can see that I've installed our Octane Texture Pack 4 in here, and then if you restart Cinema 4D, that will show up right here in your content browser. So to convert it, it's really easy. All you have to do is right click on it and then click convert to assets. And it's gonna ask you where you wanna convert it to. I'm just gonna leave it as the default uh, database, but you can create a new database if you want to. But we'll just hit okay and it's gonna start exporting this preset into the new uh, asset browser. So that export only took about a minute and it says uh, zero errors and I've exported quite a few different things. I've never had any issues. It's always very easy. Just a couple clicks and you're done. Let's check out our asset browser and now there's a folder called converted and inside we have our texture pack four. So anything you convert is gonna go into this folder and then to keep this nice and tidy, what you can do is right click here and click create category and we're just gonna make a new category called the pixel lab. Hit OK. Now we have a Pixel Lab folder, and we can just drag and drop that Texture Pack 4 into the Pixel Lab folder. And there you go. Just like that, we have converted that Lib4D over into this new asset browser, and we have tidied it up. You can put all of our products into this folder. Now they're going to be super easy to find and to navigate through and find exactly what you're looking for. So I highly recommend uh, converting those over to the new asset browser. It's a really, really nice system. It's a great upgrade by Cinema 4D, and I think you'll enjoy it. So I hope you all found that useful. And we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.